MREC TV. Peace, world. You're now live on MREC TV. This is the MREC and RIP show. And we got yes, a special sir. guest in the building, RIP. How you feeling, King? Come on, man. We got the chap in the building. Let's go, chap. You know how Let's we go, do. We got man. Shannon Briggs, man. Shannon Briggs. How you feeling? Yes, brother. Good to Thank you for having me, champs. I oh, appreciate on, it. I'm feeling great, champ. No doubt, King. Come on, it's, man. It's all good, King. Yo, go ahead. Y'all build, man, because I'm setting up the Listen, back. I got you, King. Listen, man. I, you know, for those who may have missed it yesterday, MREC was there live at the weigh-in. It got a little chippy, man. Did you happen to catch the footage of the weigh-in? With, yeah, uh, Romero and Davis. Yeah, and Rec, you know, he always getting the best footage and shit. He was, uh, he was right there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I, I caught it, man. I'm, I'm, I was, it was good. It was great for what they go for tonight. Everybody want to see. He pushed them off the stage. People want to just, you know, they love that. That's what it's about. That energy. That okay, who gonna win? So I'm looking forward to it. Mm. So was that, was that like a uh, hold on? Let me ask. You. I just want to ask him. Was that okay. like a, a mind trick that that Davis did to him by pushing him off stage? We just getting in his mental. No, nah, I think he just your perspective. I mean, from what I saw, I thought he. I think he just reacted because you know when when he put his hands up like this, that's when mm. uh, the boy came. And he just got like right in front of him. He's like, yo, like you got to <laughs> watch your space. It's fight time. You feel me? You gotta you gotta respect mm -hmm. your face. So I think he did the right thing. Get up, you know, move over. You don't, you don't come like that. That's what's up. So, champ, um, who you got in this fight right here between um Javante and um Roly Romero? Javante should do his job. He should do what he's supposed to do. He Javante Davis. He's not. He's boxing's you know big star right now. He's one of boxing's biggest stars right now. It should be a cakewalk considering. If he if he is who he is, but I think personally in this fight, I think this dude done got to him, man. And you know, I ain't calling this dude no no Cassius Clay or Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali, but that's what he did to Sonny Liston. He got mm -hmm. in his head. he got in his head, and I think this dude been really ag aggravating them dude, aggravating Javante for years. He like yo, this dude is a pie. This dude is a bum. Why is he even getting this fight? Why is he talking crazy? You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with him. And now he actually got the fight. So he like, yo, he might be in his head. We don't know yet. Right. Got but it. that's what makes you interesting tonight. So if you had to put your money on a fighter, who you putting your money on? Well, the champ don't bet, so I'll say okay. that. Okay. <laughs> but but if I was the bet, well, I was a bet man. I probably bet my money on Davis, of course. You know, he's the mm. superstar, he's the stronger fighter, the more experienced fighter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you can't count this dude out. He done talked his way into a fight. Uh that, you know what I'm saying? Either he's gonna get knocked out in the first round, or you know, if it go past <laughs> if it go past two, three rounds, what are we saying about tank now? Mm. Now I would say this Roly got some power. He got an awkward fighting stance, but he got some power. What you think? I don't know who he fought, who he fought that we can see he got power. You, I mean, he didn't fight <laughs> no names, but you know from what, yeah, highlights. <laughs> it's it's highlights. It looks it's good. It looks good. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, it looks good. So we'll see tonight. Still got a chance. We you should have a night. fighting chance. It's always, it's always one. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is one punch. You know what I'm saying? We seen that happen before in the past. But you can't tell that to you can't say that to someone at the caliber of Javante. Yo, he only take his one punch. That's true in heavyweight boxing, any boxing fight. But at the level you he at, if he go more than two, three rounds with this dude, where we ranking him at now? Well, how big of a star is he gonna become, or how good is he? He got to knock this guy out in the first round. Mm. So, uh, let's do this real quick, champ. Being that I do got the footage, let's look at the weigh-in footage real quick. Okay. Real quick. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let's do that. Maybe we'll, let me bring it to the top. All right. Okay. That's you recording that. Yeah. Okay. Well, this guy for my team, Skip. Shouts to Skip. Shout out to Salute. Skip. Salute. They ain't even playing with him, looking at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you, you see? Would you I see that? 
Roley got some, he got some kahunas, you know what I'm saying? He got some kahunas. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? That right there. Like, mm, you know, got you. Yeah. Let me bring yeah. that back real quick. Let me bring that back real quick. <laughs> Guy, he just <laughs> pardon me, pardon my back. Right, he flexed in front of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. He flexed in front of him, right? You feel me? Mm -hmm. He flexed in front of him. He like, yo, chill out with all that. This is my space too. Mm -hmm. So now, champ, if you was in that situation, right, <laughs> and a boxer did that to you, how would you woulda handled that? I, that happened to me one time. Oh, what? Yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. Dude, dude, put his arm up like this, and I tickled them. He started. I said, "You saw." <laughs> <laughs> I tickled them. He said, "I said, look at you. You saw. We ticklish." Oh I, wow! First round because he did like this. <laughs> he did like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Because we got to pull that I, up. Maybe we can I, pull I, that up. I think his name was Noble. I don't know. He tried to get like this in front of me. I tickled him. He said, "I said, you saw." <laughs> Wow, he's going, he going to sleep. So, champ, um, did you see the Mayweather um expert um expedition? I mean, expert <laughs> exhibition. Yeah, we... Mayweather exhibition. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I watched it. I watched it. It was cool. Um, do you feel like Floyd Mayweather's tainting his legacy with those um exhibition fights, or he's just having not fun? Not at all. Even if even if he does, it don't matter because at the end of the day, people move on and he making money. You know what I'm saying? He to have that to have that's a gift to have a blessing that he earned to be mm -hmm. able to go to, to to Saudi Arabia, Dubai, wherever, and get a big fat check to have to spar and to have exhibition. Man, that's great, man. He deserved. He earned it. So why not? Don't keep do do a hundred of them. Keep doing them to you eighty if you're getting checks because Larry Larry Holmes told me. If you can never retire, mm. and, and mm. Floyd Mayweather is is, is is proving that he's an example of someone who will not he retired but not retire, meaning still making money to crap. Larry Holmes told me never retire. If you can keep fighting, keep making money, keep do using your body as long as you can. You can't, you can't, and that's what we do. And wreck TV.